this, that'd be crazy. So I bought my 5700 back in early January, put it to work right away doing deck work in Western Canada. And I'd just like to share my review of the truck after three months working it. Check it out. Okay, so one of the things that I really like about this truck, and it's uh, actually just a specking, a specking thing anyways. Um, I really, really like these Michelin tires. XDN2s on here. Um, they're fantastic for traction. Way better than I thought they'd be on snow and nice. Um, I can't say enough good about them. They've been wearing exceptionally well, and they're smooth, quiet, uh, yeah, just an overall really good tire. I know that has little to do with the uh, the truck. Your truck could come with just about any of them, if, whatever you spec, but I'm really impressed with these tires. It's a little grubby under here. I didn't wash under the hood. Another one of my favorite things about this truck is the oversized windshield washer filler. I mean, it's a small detail, but it's also a large opening. It makes it just really nice for when you go to pour it in. You don't end up spilling it all over the place. Uh, I like the way all of this is laid out. It's easy to get at your fuses. Just pop that open. The other main fuses are up here. Uh, there's another fuse panel underneath the dash, but your under, under hood electrical is all here. Your airlines run clean here. I think it's cleanly routed, easy to find, easy to work on, easy to see your power steering fluid. It's clear. I like that that's an easy thing. You don't have to pull a dipstick and then contaminate everything inside. Okay, so this is the AirTech, Hendrickson AirTech 13.3 front axle, air ride front axle. Another just spec on my truck that I absolutely love. All the way it rides, uh, keeps things nice and smooth. Uh, it doesn't feel tippy at all, like I actually thought an air ride front end would. And uh, fairly simple operation really. Plus, uh, once I get the dump rigged up on here, then you can drop it down in the weeds and park the truck, which is kind of cool. One of these things I like inside the truck is the wheel. There's nice adjustability to it in, out, up, down. You can lock it really easily with the lever down here. You got your cruise control right here, your phone controls, uh, flashers for the lights. On this side, it controls all of your functions on the data center there. If I have a pet peeve about it, it's that the only audio controls on here is volume up and down which when you're sitting back driving down the road, you end up having to reach up to the stereo to change songs. Any function that you have to do other than volume is up here, which is really inconvenient. I know I touched on the audio controls earlier. There's a few things about the stereo that are just bothersome more than anything. The sound quality is great. It, I mean, it plays all my music, sounds good, there's no distortion. Um, there's a control in the and the sleeper for turning those speakers down and someone's back there they don't want to listen to what you're listening to so i like that part of it when you first start the truck up it automatically defaults to the weather band and it just seems like an odd place to go it goes there automatically and so you wait for your phone to hook up to it so it takes a while sometimes you have to actually go and press the phone button wait for it to connect and while it's connecting you can't press anything else because uh, if you turn the dial then it changes to a different like it's it's just really not very intuitive so I wish I wish that was better the other thing interior wise that I like in the driver's center here the gauges are nice and easy to read and I've got the full complement in here some fleet trucks might not have everyone but I do and then we have all of your switches are multiplex which means 
you can pull these out and place them where you want if you decided to you just have to remove a couple screws and flop this down and you can move things around fairly easily i have lots of optional extra ones trailer accessory all the air switches are down here it's just nice and easy to reach everything is within within my arms reach of it and they all are backlit well but not so bright that it's annoying anyways it's just well laid laid out i like that they've um, moved the engine brake over to this stock here zero is up front and then you have your three stages much better than the way they used to be an old western star you had a switch up here and I mean, it works, but it's just not as convenient. This is kind of nice if you're going down a big hill, say going down the smasher with lots of weight on, and you're in a lower gear. As you pick up speed, you can pull it back an extra notch. You can reduce it a bit if you're slowing down too much. Anyways, just a nice feature. Inside, another thing I love about this truck is the storage. There's tons of it. This part here one of the main points about it versus a lot of other trucks is that these are made of wood and solid wood so it's not all plasticky it gives you a little more richness just a, a solid feel to it there's a bunch of storage on top in there i have these doors and i mean there's different ways you can lay this out uh, the space here is for a microwave which i put in shortly and then took out i just find i don't use it i do all my cooking in the lunchbox uh, cooker and make my coffee with the coffee maker here. Uh, more down here in these cupboards as well. Uh, goes all the way to the bottom. If you want, you can remove those shelves and there's a clothes hanger bar in there so you could actually hang more clothes. Also found I was lacking places to hang things so I put a couple of hangers in here just on the back side of that cabinet kind of keeps things tucked away I have top windows both uh, passenger side and driver side and on the passenger side I also have this uh, this larger window down low which is nice because from the driver's seat you can look back through it when you're put back in on your blind side so a little bit of additional visibility for when you're in tight spaces plus makes it a lot more light and airy in here of course tried and true 8 and 18 speed i mean you can't there's nothing to knock about that it's it's the most preeminent transmission of anywhere in north america when i first got the truck there was a little bit of a noise from the shifter and they changed out the they changed out the shifter and, and changed the isolator and, and now it's uh, quieter shifts nicer yeah, I, I really like the way that works. I thought about having an automatic. I actually sold a lot of automatics. They're, they work fantastic, but for me, I just don't like to be able to roll my own sometimes. So if you're going to do any sort of heavy haul, any sort of off-highway work, it's nice to just to know that you can, you can grab two or three gears when you want. I know these aren't things that are on every 5700, but they're things that help make mine uh, a really good truck for me. The ride and handling of it, I, I really like. I've been having a few issues with ride in the back end, but I mean, I, it's, it comes and goes. So I mean, it could just be the way my trailers are loaded. So I'm just trying to figure that out. But for the most part, it, I mean, it rides beautifully. And maneuverability, it turns, uh, I'm not sure what the wheel cut is. I believe it's 55 degrees. So this truck turns fantastic for a 255 wheel days. There's not any others that I've driven that turn any better. As far as backing in, uh, getting in and around tight faces, I have no problems with it. There's not a really a lot of blind spots on this truck. And although the hood looks long, it's actually sloped enough that you can just see the end of it. Honestly, the styling of this truck just works for me. I mean, I love the way it looks. That's one of the things that attracted it to me and it still does. Every time I watch this truck, I'm really proud of the way it looks. Overall, just a, a really nice truck to drive. One of 
the other things I like is, I mean, I like sun visors. Of course, I like to have a big drop visor, but it's not always practical. And they hurt aerodynamics. So most aero trucks come with no visor whatsoever. And Western Star actually found a way to improve aerodynamics and have the wind flow around the visor on this truck. The byproduct of that and all that wind tunnel testing is that it's quiet, which is really, really nice. And it's out of your view. It sticks out over the front, so it keeps us out of your eyes, but still looks good doing it. So anyways, that's just one of the exterior styling features that I like. One thing I'm not keen on is actually when it's cold out, you have to have the defrost on high volume to keep the windows clear. Otherwise, you only have a sliver of window that stays clear. There is vents here that do blow in the window, but you have to have it on so so high that it just it makes a lot of noise. If you if you listen carefully, I mean that's a fair bit of noise to be listening to all day long. It'd be nice that it had maybe a vent integrated into the door that would keep that cleaner. But on the same note, the windows stay extremely clear from grime and roads road debris and water. So even the mirrors don't end up uh, getting dirty as fast as any other truck that I've driven. So in the winter time, you spend a lot less time actually cleaning them, or in, in inclement weather for that matter. So that, that's a very, very nice feature. The, the seat in the truck, I, I can say it's not bad. It's, it fits me fairly well. There's lots of, uh, there is lots of adjustment to it, but I'm a fairly long body person and I honestly prefer to sit low. And so, while this sits low for a factory seat, my favorite seat is a Legacy Low, which sits lower yet. When it's full of air, it's slightly lower than where this one is with no air in it. But uh, it's just where I like to position myself in the truck. It's just a personal preference, but I gotta say that it's just, a, it, it's not exactly ideal. In all fairness, I, I have yet to find a factory seat that's ideal for my body, so. Anyhow, it's just another little thing. There's a group of people I've seen online who uh, believe this truck should have come with LED lights. It does have LED, like an eyebrow above the headlight, which I think looks awesome. And it has halogen lights, which work very well. Uh, the other really nice thing about halogens is that they they melt the, melt the snow and ice off there because they build a little bit of heat. As far as vision goes, I can see Oh, darn near 500 yards down the road. I mean, more than enough to drive at uh, 60 miles an hour in just about all conditions. Plus, it's got the fog lights slash driving lights that are down along the bottom, which helps out a ton, too. So, yeah, I, I find the lighting on this truck more than adequate. I think it's actually very, very good. This is my first truck I've ever owned with disc brakes. Actually, the first truck I've ever driven with air discs. The stopping power is awesome. I really notice a difference. Plus, you don't get the fading. Uh, I mean, because they dissipate heat. They're just that much better. I know a lot of people that have them have uh, really, really long uh, pad change intervals. And plus, to change a set of pads is, just takes no time. So, I, I don't see myself ever owning anything but a truck with disc, disc brakes from here on it. The DD16 has done a great job for me. I, I really like the way it, uh, it'll pull down low. Now I can, I can take this truck and I can pull it right down to 900 RPM and it's still, still got something down there. I mean, it's not going to jump. It's not jumpy. I'll just say that but it's still pulling. When you're in a, a bad situation in the winter, sometimes you just don't want to shift because if you shift, you'll break traction and, and then you're spun out where you sit. So that to me is a, a big deal when you've got a wide power bend. So it's, a, it's just, it's nice, it's forgiving. Uh, doesn't do a whole lot up over 1,500. I mean, you can, you can run it up there, but you, you don't really ever need to. I mean, it's got the, the beat of the power is, is from 1,000 to 15, and it's, and it's nice in there. Uh, sometimes accelerating hard, I'll run it a little bit higher, but it never sits up there very long, so it doesn't get overly hot. The thermostat does a great job of keeping it right under uh, 225. I've been pulling 
heavy weights up and over the Coca-Cola. And yeah, I, I haven't had uh, one overheating issue yet. So that says something about it. That also probably speaks to the size of the radiator on here. I mean, you got a massive drill and a big opening for that uh, for that rad. I'm interested to see what it'll do. Put some heavier loads on it, like say eight to ten axle stuff, just to see uh, see how it handles that. But I can't imagine I'll have any issues. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my review on the 5700. If you have any questions or to get more information on trucking reviews, follow me on. LinkedIn in the link below, Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching.